Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we are going to make use of this theorem. Uh, we've seen this theorem in the past. Rather than looking at this, we would look at the absolute version of the very same thing. And if, if the absolute version of the very same thing converges, then the original series will also converge. We've seen this in, in the past. So rather than looking at this, we would look at the absolute version of the exact same thing. So remember, absolute of A over B, that's the same as absolute of A over absolute of B. So, uh, so that would then take us to, to here. Well, this is always going to be positive. So, uh, so it's going to always be, uh, n to the power of three. Now, sine, um, so, so re remember, when, when you look at sine, sine, sine is going to oscillate between one, uh, between one, negative one, one, negative one, and so on. Um, if here you've got, you've got a, um, a constant in front of the n. So, um, the thing is, here, so, so normally sine looks like this, with one, one period is two pi. Well, you've got a constant in front of it. So, uh, well, it could get stretched this way, or it could get squeezed inwards. It, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Either way, either way, it's going to be trapped in between one and negative, uh, negative one. Because if you look at this, this, uh, constant here, pi over seven, um, it, it, all, all it's doing is, all it's doing is, it's either stretching, stretching it, or it's being squeezed inwards. Um, so it's one of the two. Either way, it's going to be between positive one and negative one. Now we, we've taken the absolute here. So so here is negative. So the absolute version will be will be this. So so your 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 sine graph will look something like this. Well, the, your sine your your absolute sine graph will look something like this. Um, it, the lowest that it could be is zero. The highest is one because we've taken the absolute version. So, so the highest thing, the highest thing that this could be is the number one. So, so this thing here, the high, well, this thing here must be lower or equal to, to this thing here because the highest thing that this thing could be is the number one. So this thing must be less than or equal to this thing here. And we know that this thing is going to converge because power, the, uh, the power here is greater than Greater than one, so we know this is going to converge. Well, this thing here is this thing here is going to converge. Well, this thing here being bigger or equal to this, this will have no choice but to also to converge. It can't go up uh, because it, it always has to be less than or equal to. If you look at this bit here, it's bigger than than uh, than than this bit here. So, well, because this thing converges, then this will also have to converge. Okay, so um, yeah. So, uh, so, our, so going back to here, we've looked at the, uh, the absolute version, and the absolute version converges, therefore, the original series, which is this one here, the original series will also converge. Okay?